So we're here in the NCIX parking lot doing a bit of a range test on the Parrot AR drone. So I got my iPad here, you can see the front mounted camera view and actually that is, oh uh, well, why don't I show you guys the settings in here as well. Can you see that at all? No? How about if I go up this way? Can you see it now? Okay, cool. Okay, so I'm just going to turn on uh, outdoor hull and outdoor flight are both on. Okay, so it looks like we're ready to go already. So I'm also going to switch on my alternate camera which is right here. Okay, so that's my downward facing camera. And I just want to show you guys, for the, for the sake of interest, that it's a little bit windy out here today. So you can see that drifting. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take off with the AR drone. And I want to show you guys how little it actually drifts, even in the wind. Check that out. So it actually controls itself using the bottom mounted camera to keep itself from drifting away. See, it got blown away a little bit and then corrected itself and brought itself back. Pretty cool, eh? So we're gonna do a bit of a range test here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fly it down the parking lot. Keeping it nice and low. No need to put it up high, especially on a windy day like today. So do 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 do. Remember, this is Wi-Fi controlled. So here, I'm gonna go ahead and stop for a second here. There we go. So just for scale, guys, so the drone is about, it's got to be at least about 50, 60 meters away at this point. And I still do have my video feed and I still do have control of the drone. So here I'm going to turn it around and point it at us. Let's see if we can see ourselves here. Ooh, it's getting, uh, oh, it's pretty gusty right now. So you can see the drone struggling a little bit, but it is managing to uh, hold itself in place. So I'm just going to bring it back. Tilt it this way, tilt it that way. Oh, here we go. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay, I couldn't figure out if it was coming back or not because it's going kind of slow because it's uh, in the breeze here. There we go. Come on, Mr. Drone. So there you go, we can comfortably go about 52 60 meters away without any difficulties. So I brought it back now. Let's wait for this car to move along and then we'll, we'll pick this up again in a sec. So we're back. We're gonna take the drone all the way down to the end of the parking lot, but first let's go harass our, uh, our HR manager over there. He's all like, WTF? And I'm all like, hello. And I can't see it behind that tree right now, but I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, bring it back over here, I think. Okay, let's just bring it between these trees. Turn it around. Oh, I lost my orientation. Oh, I hit the tree. Oh, here, well, I'll show you guys what happened. So this is a cutout emergency. So what happens is, uh, what the blade here, come, come check this out because this is a great demo of how durable the AR drone actually is. A cutout emergency occurs when one of the propellers strikes an immovable object and what the AR drone does is it actually turns off all four motors before, immediately before the AR drone even hits the ground in order to minimize the amount of damage that can be done to it. Now the propellers are made out of a very flexible material. They're very difficult to break. I've crashed it like this a couple dozen times at this point. But what you can see here is that, so yeah, they've got that flex to them. And if they all turn off when one of them encounters an obstacle, then you dramatically reduce the risk of serious damage to the drone. So in this case, we hit a tree and that was bad. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, take off again here and see if we can do another little range test. Here we go. Let's make sure all systems are functional. There we are, and let's go ahead and, wow, it's getting pretty windy though. I gotta say, this is definitely not the optimal conditions for, uh, for flying a small RC aircraft like this. So let's go ahead and take it down to the other end of the parking lot and uh, see how far we can go. I'm flying into the wind right now, so this represents pretty much my top speed into a strong headwind. Really, you're, realistically, you're gonna lose control of the AR drone in terms of your visual ability to determine what's forward and what's backwards before you're going to lose control of the AR drone from the iPad. So you can see it's getting blown around quite a bit over there, but I guess that pretty much wraps this up. 
There's my range test on the AR drone. Thank you for checking it out. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. So here's cameraman trying to fly the AR drone. He approves of this product because uh, he's using the iPad to control it. I'll just zoom in on his, uh, his drone flight here. Please don't hit the car, cameraman. So we're quite far away at this point. I'm gonna max out the zoom of my camera here. Wow, I think I can actually see it better through the zoom than I can uh, with my eyes. Oh, please don't hit that car. So yeah, this is cameraman flying the drone. Something's cool is that if you actually do manage to go outside of the maximum range of the drone, what it does is it just switches off and goes into hover mode. So there's no risk of uh, it damaging itself by like flying away or anything like that. So yeah.